So what's the mechanism? How do, how do they do this, all right? I'm gonna read for you a little bit more. It says, generically, the process of artificial induction of immunity in an effort to protect against infectious disease works by priming the immune system with an immunogen. Stimulating immune responses with an infectious agent is known as immunization. Vaccination includes various ways of administering immunogens. Some vaccines are administered after the patient already has contracted a disease. Vaccines given after exposure to smallpox within the first three days are reported to attenuate the disease considerably. And vaccination up to a week after exposure probably offers some protection from disease or may reduce the severity of the disease. Let me read that for you again. So if you get the vaccine, it offers some protection from the disease and may reduce the severity of the disease. So they don't even promise that it's going to do anything. They say, hey, this might help you and it could help you. We don't really know how or when. We don't, you know, maybe it's just a, a sugar pill, but we're going to say that it actually helps you somehow. Maybe. It says, since then it has been found that people with healthy immune systems, four doses of rabies vaccine over 14 days, wound care and treatment of the bite with rabies, immune globulin commenced as soon as possible after exposure is effective in preventing rabies in humans. Other examples include experimental AIDS, cancer, and Alzheimer's diseases, disease vaccines. Such immunizations aim to trigger an immune response more rapidly and with less harm than natural infection. Most vaccines are given by hypernetic injection as they are not absorbed readily through the intestines. Live attenuated polio, some typhoid, some cholera vaccines are given orally to produce immunity in the bowel. While vaccination provides a lasting effect, it usually takes several weeks to develop. While passive immunity, the transfer of antibodies has immediate effect. Okay, so what they're just trying to say, they're trying to, try, they're trying to fake it, okay? They don't want to actually use these, or sometimes they'll inject you after you get the disease, and they're saying, well, maybe it helps a little bit, but after you get a disease, your body builds immunity, okay? So if you were to go to school, they ask for your immunization and vaccination records or your immunization and inoculation records. Now, what are they saying? What they're saying is immunity is if you got a disease in the past and now your body is immune to it. Inoculation means we shot you up with their, you know, perverted, twisted version of it, and maybe it helped you or maybe it didn't, okay? So you don't actually have immunity from getting a vaccination. It's just you're inoculated with it, okay? Now look at Mark chapter number 5, verse 24, where I had you turn. It says, And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of the physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. And when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press, press behind, and touched his garment. For she said, If I may be touched but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. So we have a woman who she spent 12 years with a horrible blood issue. She's trying to get better. She keeps going to the doctor. She keeps put, giving money to the doctor. And what does the Bible say? Nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. Did the doctors help this lady? No, she actually got worse and worse and worse. If you take a healthy baby to the doctor today and they just jab them with a bunch of diseases, they only got worse. They did not get better. Don't believe the lies but they're going to tell you, believe what the Bible says.